Hi guys, what's up? It's Peridit again. Welcome back to my channel and welcome to another war video of today. Um, today we have war number three against... Um, I have no idea. We will see in a moment. Anyway, so my team was pretty interesting today. We had uh, Jalen or Gallen, um, Iceman and Max. Or let's say Red Max. Um, yeah, I have Frank 4 Iceman. It's pretty new, and this was the first time I was able to use him. And it was just like one or two days after I took him rank four, so I haven't really played with him that much. But yeah, I took him rank four also because he's getting the buff soon, and. Yeah, I just like him. I took him to sick 200 as well, and yeah. So my red max is also sick 200, by the way, which is uh, very. I highly recommend to uh, put six into him if you have them, because uh, I personally I value his sick very high, because you have a 10% uh, damage cap safety. And I mean, except for the SP3, and on top, uh, you heavies are doing quite good damage, and you will see it in this video what I mean, what I'm talking about. So, yeah, let's go with this first fight. Um, we have a rank 4 Mantis against uh, on path 9 here with Iceman, and it's actually a pretty good placement because uh, against Mantis, you want. Um, a champion with prowess actually but I found a way to play around it basically you don't want mantis to use her special one if that happens then yeah you need to time your special attack um, you know the sleep timer that will get on you and then you have to use the special it's like encroaching stun Right at the moment um, it will expire, you have to use the special and then you're fine. But if that, uh, yeah, if you fuck that up or something and the sleep timer goes through, then you're gonna get stunned. And she can hit pretty hard, so it's pretty annoying. But as you can see, I was actually doing pretty good in this fight. And I was just taking her down and. Um, yeah, 48 seconds. That's pretty nuts for um, <laughs> for Iceman. Well, funny uh, you saw in the comments down from my alliance mate. <laughs> he was accepting me to die. <laughs> I was uh, accepting myself to die there as well, to be honest. But yeah, as you see, it pre uh, went pretty good. So let's go with the next match against weapon x with max usually they use nimrod there but i um, i wanted max for this fight for this war so i took him here and you see he's very good um, i'm jumping i'm dancing around a little bit here with him um, but as you see the the uh, numbers are going high and high so now I'm backing off and yeah here we go I could do this all day with the intercept um, and dance around but there's no point so I just started back off and get the timer down and as you see even he regent a lot <laughs> just by my heavy attack before I'm able to sp3 he <laughs> he already had 50% health and the sp3 is overkilling him like, yeah, I like Max. He's one of my favorite uh, characters in the MCU anyways. I mean, like in the Marvel comics, he's probably my favorite villain. Um, I mean, Sandman is not a real villain for me. So, yeah, and it's probably Doom and Max are my favorite villains. So here in the next fight, we have a uh, rank four. Okay, I thought it was rank 5. Um, a POC on the new... Ah, it's not new, but like a few months, you know. On the node 25. So the strat on this um, fight 
is actually not a real strat. I was not actually playing well in this matchup. As you see, I I was like playing uh, like the node with the power things was not existing. And but here I was dexing his special too, which I was very proud of because um, I never knew how to dex his specials. I just learned recently how to dex his special too. I mean, I just learned it. I am not perfect at it still. And yeah, I mean, one dex and I would have died here. But I'm feeling pretty confident on dexing his special too now. But yeah, and here again, I, I always forget about the power sting. That was just dumb. Here was the only time I. Ah uh, no, he got it again and I got hit again. That was stupid. I should have. You know what? I should have have it here and then SP1. Because now you can see I got hit. I failed the decks, but luckily I was unstoppable. So yeah, here I was waiting a little bit out to heal a little bit back. And, but at the end of the day, it went pretty good. So yeah. Anyways, next fight we have Crossbones on path 6. Um, I wanted to point out Mantis actually with Apoch is probably the best, the safest counter there if you, if she's going to SP1. Because, um, you know, he has prowess, he has stun immunity, um, but you have to play around the poison from the hazard shift. But yeah, I found Iceman still pretty good and I would still use him 10 out of 10 again. No doubt, no doubt about it. Um, Alright, so next fight, cross bronze, and here's the same shit. It's, even if it's rank 4, man, it doesn't matter. You can see the damage of Magneto is insane before I'm even able to reach the special 3. I, I think I'm gonna put here a special 2 now. And I wasn't even using mutant boost because I don't even need that. Here. Let's see, I think it's not even critting. Yeah, <laughs> and 67,000 damage. And another heavy, he's down. Um, I like Max pretty much. He was one of my first Seek 200 champs, and I will probably rank for him soon. Because um, he has synergy with Iceman. That's a big point. It's a bit, little bit crit synergy, and crits are important for Iceman. So. It's uh, pretty nuts. So in this next fight against Punisher 2099, the plan was first to back off so the, he gets magnetized uh, because he's global attack uh, defender and as you can see he's getting a lot, a lot, a lot of his shit. But I was having the region boost in and felt pretty comfortable. And he got hit, but it was no crit. But even if it would have crit, I would have maximum lost like 30% health. So, yeah, I don't think we will ever see a showdown uh, in war of his sick ability because usually I don't get hit like that. But um, it's very nice, very, very nice. So, the point was, I would probably rank for max. Um, not sure when because my next one will be spot but yeah I gotta rank for this man even it's overkill against medals but just for the honor of it also um, maybe he will be a defender again uh, a global defender then he will be coming in clutch so yeah as you see, I can see this war was pretty annoying for me uh, in case of I was using those energy refills, which I never do. I save them usually, but kind of I wanted to get this war done because I have on the last fight, you will see uh, another Iceman fight. So it will be very interesting, you will see. But for now, this fight, I think it's a rank 5 item uh, with Gallon pretty straightforward um, on uh, intercept uh, ebb and flow 
Um, so I don't know. Uh, Hercules is probably faster here if you have him ramped up and uh, rank five probably, and with suicides. But um, Galen is fine. Galen is very fine. Um, yeah. I have to say, personally, I enjoy playing Garland actually also a lot. I would consider consider to take him rank five um, after Hercules and yeah, after Hercules probably oh, on Silver Surfer because of prestige probably. But I will take Hercules first for sure um, on my cosmics. Anyway, so as you can see, he got down pretty quick. And next one, we have a cable. And here I was a little bit scared. I mean, not actually at all. It's just because of the next fight I'm using this um, indestructible boost here. But I was like, hmm, cable, region, unblockable, um, can happen. But then I saw, oh, wait, I'm actually playing Galen he's global attacker so I'm gonna be fine and as you can see I already have 200 of those stacks and in this um, it's probably gonna be overkill but in this matchup I'm going with the sp1 into the sp2 if I can make it with the four furies um, yeah here I lost a little bit of time yeah, never mind. I'm going for another SP1. So this is actually very overkill. But I wanted to be safe. Because I'm kind of used to play like this on this node. Because there was a lot of times where they put item on this node. And I um, took that a lot of times. And the problem with item there is um, <laughs> if you don't kill him with one harvest he's gonna region all the way back but actually this was perfectly um, um, calculated if you as you uh, as you saw he had like uh, one percent but the um, incinerate debuffs do a ton of damage so they would have uh, killed him even if he was with 10 percent HP yeah so let's go to the last fight so this fight I was a bit scared of because it's a rank 5 Nick Fury and I just saw that when I was entering the fight and I was like hmm I've never ever played Iceman in my life I have never ever played against Nick Fury on this note in my life and I only played rank 4 Nick Furies and Nick Fury is um, a global defender which we are coming to now I actually think this global sucks. This is very easy global. And that's why you see recently a lot of alliance with low deaths, like zero deaths, one, two, three, m maximum three. Like that's because of this global sucking. It's very easy. Um, for example, against Nick Fury, it's actually, it's actually helping him instead of, um, yeah oh he he parried my <laughs> i want to sp1 him he would have probably went into sp2 after that sp1 um but he somehow parried it and here he's stinging again so actually i'm losing here a little bit of time in this match because what as you can see what i tried to do often was to um explode my ice charges which i did against mantis also two times and it helped with the time and here as well um, if you just play sp2 or just play sp1 without having you yeah the fight probably would f like take one minute more or something because iceman's base damage is pretty bad um, the only way he's able to deal damage is with exploding his uh, charges um, or <laughs> you can see me sucking a bit um, but I have indestructible boost so it's fine what sucks is even I have indestructible uh, boost my 
ice passive got destroyed by it usually it should just uh, when I lose health over five percent so I don't know why why that happened there but it's fine I still have one so he was here he was thingy um, but it's all good it's all fine so yeah and he's right about to get finished um, if you um, so basically Apoc and Ketty could also do this fight but actually I liked Iceman here a lot so yeah pretty nice pretty nuts um, yeah after three minutes we got him down rank 5 Nick Fury and yeah I think actually that um, oh by the way I just wanted to say I really think Iceman is a good champ and I will be glad and I'm very excited uh, about his buff I can't wait for it I'm very excited what it's gonna be there's only one thing known that you will get um, cold snap immunity added which is just some logical thing anyway so I wanted to show you I uh, changed the mastery uh, I changed the masteries for this war and especially on the third side I took uh, pacify 3 3 usually I'm running and uh, mystic dispersion 5 5 but for this I took uh, pacify on 3 3 because if you play magneto you want that um, skilled it's very good and yeah, Perry 3-3. Three, three. Um, yeah, pretty recommendable for this. Also against Mantis, actually, I forgot to mention. Very good because there's a chance uh, you fail your parry against her. Also, my sick ability failed at the start because she has like, I don't know, 25% chance, ground based chance of making abilities fail. So, yeah. Because of that pacify, I was able to parry her, and so I didn't have to play fully stun immune. Um, yeah. So the war, as you can see, um, ended three two. So we won that war, as you can see. Three deaths on the alliance legion or legion, legion legion. I don't know and they usually die like 10 times and they just died two times uh, i mean three times and we still died uh, two times which is very shit because those deaths were also pretty avoidable but it is what it is and yeah so oh we got the mvp that's very rare these days I was uh, doing a lot of more, a lot more fights in war in the last two years, but since I joined JD Sessions, holy damn shit, my BG is so skilled. It's very good. I can just relax. I can take whatever I get assigned, and that's it. I don't even care anymore about fights, cause um, you know, like I trust my mates that they are not dying that's very rare it's like a first time feeling and i mean we have like two deaths overall in three wars or one death we have some donuts often in our bg and that's pretty nice so yeah we we'll continue with this attitude and very glad and yeah anyways so I hope you enjoyed this war as always and this video if you did so drop a like and a comment and yeah whenever you're watching this video I wish you a nice day or night and we will see you uh, you will see me next time and with that being said make sure to subscribe as well if you enjoyed the content so I will see you next time bye